Hello everyone and welcome to Deadwater Saloon given to me by Creative Storm Entertainment and Tangle Foot Games. Now I don't know much about this game, however a saloon game is a saloon game and I'm hoping there's some drinks involved. Let's get started everyone. Oh, okay, I can decide what I look like, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. I won't change too much just so we can actually get into the game. Uh... I'm handsome? Well, well, okay then. All right, let's, is there a way to randomize these? No? Okay, um, if I'm a, if I'm a saloon owner, I want mixology, and we'll do gambling, there we go. So everything's normal, pre-made saloon, no. Aces high silver dollar, oh. Now let's go from the beginning so we can see how it's all done. Did you know you can buy pets? Oh, okay. You're dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the musty smell and wonder who is more insane. The man who puts up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere, or the one who will manage it. I have a feeling that would be me. There are a few good things going for the place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building. And there are rumours a railroad track will be coming by soon as well. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be the spot of a booming town one day. With a bustling main street and a train station bringing in supplies and travellers. And maybe, just maybe, you on the saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. Okay, welcome to the tutorial. Here will be a brief introduction to the game and its mechanics. Note that when the tutorial has finished, there will be additional pop-ups that will occasionally come up offering tips and hints. First, you can move your camera by using WASD or the arrow keys. Zoom in with your mouse wheel. Finally, rotate by either holding your mouse wheel or by using Q and E. Above you, you'll find your personal stats. Your health, stress, action points and town opinion are all very important things to monitor. In particular, monitor your health and stress as both will lead to death if they get too low or high. Fair enough. Above you will find your saloon stats. Your total cash, daily profit loss, saloon capacity and saloon storage will all give you hints with regards to what to build next and how to manage your saloon. Manage your cash carefully, especially early on until you start getting enough customers to sustain your operation. To decide here, you will find your booze and food in the inventory. Yes, booze all the way. Booze and food can be purchased in crates of 200 from local businesses as they are built in your town. You will need to wait a few hours for a traffic to come to your town before purchasing any booze or food though. Here are your saloon ratings. Your overall saloon rating is scored by the following subsections. Fame, refinement, entertainment, service, drinks, food and muscle. Your overall saloon rating helps determine the chances of a customer deciding to frequent your saloon or not. This is your build panel. Here you can see your view toggle button, your floor toggle, your build, edit, arrays and customer access button. Your view toggle button is on this panel. Click this button to show the interior of your saloon. It's very dark. Does anyone notice it? It's, the game's very dark. I hope this is just because of the tutorial, nothing else. Your build button is also on this panel. So let's build something. Click to open the build screen. Okay, you can see items available to build below. We suggest building a barrel or trunk to increase storage, but you can choose to build whatever you want. Uh, let's click a barrel then. It's still very dark. Why is the game so dark? Anyway. Also know for next time that you can also rotate items while you are pl placing them by using Z and C. You can use the shift to snap a floor item to the grid. That's it for now. We will continue giving you tips and advice as you open new screens or a situation developed from your character or town. But you are now free to explore Deadwater Saloon and build the best damn saloon in the Wild West. It is extremely dark. Oh, okay, that explains a lot. I was I was really concerned I'd have to build in the dark. Okay, which one to build button again? Uh, oh, hello. 
A shanty is being constructed right alongside your saloon. It would seem a roughly clothed trapper, a true western pathfinder, has moved into town to provide their goods. Be sure to check their wares once they open for business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. Uh, okay, how do I... Is it this button? Ah, there we go. Right, okay, so I'm going to need... Obviously I'm going to need a desk, aren't I? I've never built a saloon before. And the last time I was anywhere near a saloon in a game was Devour. <laughs> we do not like Devour much. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I, I kind of like that motion. So it's not like a snap snap. Okay. Uh, so that's utility. Entertainment. Structure. You can build rooms. That's interesting. Oh, a gambling table. A, a brothel? Oh, right, right. I just got an achievement for doing that. Okay. We, because it's YouTube, we can't really do the brothel, so we're going to leave that. Uh, let's do a piano, because why not? Um, Let's put that here. So, a new recipe can be researched. Okay, I, I, I don't know how to research things. It's, it's no use telling me that a new re thing can be researched. I don't know how. Oh, did I just stumble upon it? I did. Okay. Uh, dill pickles. <laughs> We're researching dill pickles. How? How do I get stuff? Is that a? Oh, hold on. Did the, did the game just hear me? That was really freaky timing. It looks like you still haven't yet hired any staff for your saloon. From the staff screen, you can either hire staff that live in your town. Or you can import a staff member from out of town by using the tabs on the side. Remember, out of town hires take about a day or so before they arrive at your saloon. Oh, okay. Um, I need to hire a barkeep. How do I hire? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. No local staff available, so I'm going to have to go out of town. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know what the action points are for. What are the action points for? Research daily at midnight, action points are consumed when interacting with townspeople, purchasing goods, using da 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 Additional can be purchased. No. Okay, so I need to wait a day, they said. In the meantime, I can still build things, right? Yes, I can. Okay, so let's put a dartboard there. This is the deadest thing I've ever seen. Okay. How do I build, like, normal... Normal tables and chairs. How does one do that? Furniture. Ah, hello. Okay, so they don't... Okay, so that is... Wait. But it looks like it was locked on that screen. I don't understand. It look... Yeah, because if you see something blacked out, you tend to think it's locked. So, I'm really confused now. Right, let's put some lights in. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so. There you go. Also, ooh, hello. Oh. Oh, okay. Ingrid's a. Okay, she's, she's a worker. Piano man, why are you no. Pi what, why are you not playing? Play the piano! I want to hear the piano. Okay, I guess he'll play. He's not playing. Ah, oh, maybe he's not playing because it's too early. Okay, so we have a bartender. We have a cook. She's one of the croupers who does all the gambling, I guess? Well, do I need... Hold on. Have I done this wrong? Hang on. Entertainment. Maybe a roulette wheel? No, oh, let's just put that there. There we go. I have no idea if this is going to go well. We've got no food. Wait, hold on. There's a trapper. Hello. Now we have food. Food and drink. Yes, we've got 200 of each. Okay. It's a very basic saloon, guys. Very basic. I apologise. I'm not very good at building properties like this. You know what? It looked massive on the screen. Why is it so small? Ooh, a rug. Uh, that can... Okay, we'll put that in front of the thing. There we go. Okay, where are all my customers? Can I can I speed up? Is it because it's early in the day and oh, uh, oh. 
Entered saloon. No, you're not. You, you. What just happened? Hey, come back. Oh, okay. If I don't get my rocks off. But we have alcohol. We have food. I'm so confused. Is there a way to build lights on the outside, I wonder? Hang on. Can I build like a lantern? Oh, I can. Hang on. Let's see. Because usually if you press shift. There we go. You press shift. There we go. Where are my customers? Oh, hello. We finally got one. Two? It was only a matter of time before the town gained a general store, and at last it has arrived. Sure to provide wares such as coffee, cigars, whiskey, and firearms. No matter how you look at it, the general store is an economic cornerstone for a growing town, along with your saloon, of course. Oh, oh, they, they want a brothel. Well, guys, this is YouTube. Unfortunately, I can't put a brothel. Okay, then. A wise man comes up the road and tells you it takes a studious mind to know how to properly serve grub and spirits to clientele. Don't be an ignorant saphead. Research your product or you can't serve them jack shit. A business selling a new type of drink or food has been built in your town. Remember, it's not enough to just purchase stuff from them and start selling. You must also have at least one recipe research in a particular family as well. Uh, for some reason, I found it mesmerising just watching the cows go by. Okay. Crow Morris seems to have lost their rhythm. Watching songs so bad you wonder if they knew how to play at all. Uh, I'll give you a drink. There we go. Success. You mix a drink that makes your own ears pop by the smell alone. Never mind Crow Morris's expression when they take a sip. That gets them playing well enough to get the room jiving again. Oh, I can hear it. Hold on. It would be nice if there was actually an animation for him playing the piano. This game's creeping me out a little. It's <laughs> it's actually creeping me out that um, legal murder. Oh, what did I just hover over? It creeped me out that I say something and then the game does it. That's a bit interesting. So this is a general store. What we can get here? Coffee, cigars, whiskey, derringer? Um, something tells me I'm going to need a gun. But I need some money. Uh, that automatically purchases when I need it. They said... Did they say something else that was selling food and drink? Or was it just the general store? I can't remember. Here, let me give you some li libation? Libation? Libation. I suppose I should build a room, but YouTube doesn't wouldn't appreciate that at all. Barkeep, can I get a whiskey, please? Wait, hold on. I can't purchase whiskey. Not enough. Oh, storage. Hang on. How do I? Oh, right. Storage. That's a thing. That's a thing I forgot about. Um. There we go. You can have your whiskey, good sir. How do, how do you serve whiskey to people? I don't know how to... Are you going to do it automatically? What's your name? Beverly. Are you going to serve him his whiskey? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I've messed up. Does that mean I can serve whiskey or not? Oh, hold on. A mountaineer dressed in deer hide stops in saying he's here because nobody knows of it. Just the way I like it, see? Let's try mixology again. Fail. Oh, dang it. He makes a drink to knock his block off and slide it to him across the bar. He takes a swick and gags on whatever it is you gave him. He says, damn it all to hell. I'd rather gargle horse and light it on fire. He leaves without another word. Oops. I'm sorry. Wow, that, that one just stormed right in. You're not going to start a fight, are you? Well, you're getting food at least. But there's nothing for whiskey. Is that is that whiskey? Fire water? I'm pretty sure. I know fire water is known as whiskey as well, so maybe that's it. Drink up. Okay, so we've got the basic drinks done, I guess. 
Your more carnivorous customers are sure to welcome the butcher. Having come west seeking opportunity and profit, feeding hungry pioneers, they are sure to provide both light and heavy meats. It makes you hungry to think about it, unless you're not one for meat, that is. Yeah. Lady, there's no one there. Who are you talking to? There you go. Okay, so they do automatically serve, but I have to. The thing is, I don't see a meter that says when thing has been researched. I see it says research, but it doesn't say when the research is done. Living the dream here, are we really? Because we are losing money. We are losing money. A new recipe can be researched. Okay, that's when it tells me. Okay. Okay, let's go with firewalls because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's whiskey. It is so dark at night if you don't have lights. These guys are just sitting here constantly. Are you guys, are you just going to sit there for the rest of the night? Is that what it is? Who are you? What's your name, mate? Oh, you got instant served. Dink Carter. Why is there a little girl in here? Why? Is that a little girl? Is that a little girl? Or have they just made the men huge in this game and the women small? A prairie schooner pulls up and the front frontiersman and his wife enter. They purchase several drinks when they ask you. We've travelled a long ways and are tired beyond comprehension. May we sleep on your floor? Yeah, you can take my bed. Oh. He kindly says no. Don't mean to put you out of bed. Thank you kindly. He and his wife leave without work. I'd have accepted. Someone offers me their bed after a long journey. What do you think, Beverly? Beverly, your eyes stare into the abyss. Your eyes just stare into the soul. You guys are doing nothing. You're just sitting there. Oh. Hey, the cow patrol. That horde seems smaller than the last one. Take my kiss of... Drink up, thirsty pilgrims. There's plenty of more. So oh, they left, but that guy was there like for two days or something. I that that needs looking into. I don't know why that jingle jangling keeps happening. Am I dying soon? But yeah, guys. Um, this is unfortunately all I have time for today. Um. Thank you so so much, Creative Storm Entertainment and Tanglefoot Games for allowing me to play this game. I do have some critiques where the animation seems to be bugging up. Um, it's taken a while for everything to be set up and I think the alert system needs to be a bit louder. I do like the um, I do like the little event things that come up like this baker one right here. Um, but yeah, I think there needs to be a little bit more guidance on the tutorial system. But I'm not entirely sure where to start on that one. Anyway, guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Yeehaw!